there are a number of proteins uh, produced by coronavirus, which interact with diverse proteins in the host, potentially humans. For example, the spike proteins have two portions, which after uh, being uh, processed by a protease break into an S1 portion, the portion which bound the host receptor determining specificity, and the S2 portion, uh, which is involved in the fusion of the viral membrane to the host membrane. In addition, there are M uh, membrane proteins, uh, which are involved in the formation of the envelope, uh, transport across the membrane, bud release, and the virion curvature and rigidity. E proteins, or envelope, uh, proteins which help to assemble the uh, membrane and help to inhibit the host stress uh, response. And the HE hemagglutinin esterase proteins which can bind host glycoproteins enhancing uh, the entry into the cell and its release. In addition to the ACE2 protein on human cells which serves as a receptor for the coronavirus. There are a number of other proteins which are required or facilitate the coronavirus infection because many of the uh, proteins of the virus have to be broken by peptidases or proteases which cut an amino acid chain. This action by the host proteases is often required to trigger certain events like the fusion of the uh, viral envelope with the cell membrane or the changes in protein conformation which allow this cell fusion. There are a number of human enzymes uh, which are proteases or peptidases uh, which uh, perform this task for the virus, enabling it uh, to uh, further the infection cycle. These include endosomal cathepsin, the transmembrane protease, serine protease, TMPRSS, furin, and trypsin. Furin is actually required for a number of enveloped viruses to trigger uh, the release of the viral nucleic acid into cells, including HIV, Ebola, and influenza. Other proteins, such as, as cell membrane proteins known as lectins, uh, can facilitate the virus. One, CD209L, uh, was originally thought to be an alternate receptor for uh, coronavirus. Um, because uh, cells uh, which were transfected uh, with this lectin could then be infected by uh, coronavirus, uh, which otherwise could not be. Uh, I believe it is no longer considered to be an alternate receptor, but rather a glycoprotein which facilitates infection.